Welcome to the first turn of 1944. These are the two cards that were in play. Um, well, the uh, German one came in handy because um, it took away two steps from British units in Britain. And uh, the Russian one came in handy and yet at the same time it didn't because I was a bit over enthusiastic and um, I had filled up uh, the area the units could potentially retreat to uh, up to their maximum stacking limit, so uh, that meant that they were um, uh, eliminated after all, even though technically the retreat was allowed, uh, the um, overstacking wasn't. And where did that happen? Well, that happened once again in Transylvania, where the Russians attacked again, uh, trying to keep up their war of attrition. Uh, but in this case, um, the Germans actually did remarkably well, despite the winter weather everywhere, meaning that um, all units uh, only have a, a, a combat value of one. Um, but still, the Germans did pretty well, if I remember correctly, and the Russians really suffered heavy losses. And, um, and as I said, because of the fact that they weren't uh, able to retreat, they lost an additional one. That also happened uh, in Carpathians, uh, again... The same reasoning, just keep on attacking, um, we, the Russians, are able to replenish our losses uh, quite easily, and the Germans will struggle much more to do so. Um, well, it almost sounds, sounds historical again, doesn't it? Um, so that's what happened over there, and I believe there as well, one unit wasn't able to retreat, uh, because I had also filled up the area to the north, to the, to, to the maximum stacking limit. Or perhaps the area to the east, I don't quite remember. But anyway, they also lost a um, a unit because of that. Well, let's just call it poor tactics and just attacking in human waves uh, and, um, yeah, and not caring about any losses. Let's just leave it at that. Obviously, it was poor strategy, but it's uh, better and easier for myself not to call it that. Um, so um, that's what happened uh, on the eastern front. And um, the final Russian command was used to move a unit strategically. Um, what did the Allies do? Well, they attacked, first of all, the um, factory in Bavaria. Uh, is it Bavaria? Yes, it's Bavaria, where Munich is, in Stuttgart. Um, but they didn't uh, inflict any losses on the factory. The anti-air, however, did inflict one step loss on the attacking bomber, but... Obviously, that one was easily replenished again. Uh, the most interesting thing this turn happened in the south, where the British once again attacked um, um, the boot. Well, no, yeah, is it the boot? Yeah, it's the boot of the of, uh, of the uh, of uh, Italy. Um, but uh, funnily enough, funnily enough, they didn't manage to uh, get rid of the Italians there and uh, one Axis command was used to reinforce the battle with the Italian Navy, um, the Italian fighter, and I believe also an infantry unit from Rome. They arrived in round two, and they were actually very lucky they survived that long. Um, but yeah, of course it was winter, so um, the aircraft that was there, the Allied aircraft, couldn't hit them because they can only hit primary targets on a roll of one, and secondary targets cannot be hit. Uh, same is true for the British battleship that also helped. You may say British battleship. Which British battleship? That's right. Um, as I said, the uh, British lost the battle, and the Italians subsequently regrouped into the Ionian Sea, which meant that the battleship couldn't retreat and was therefore eliminated. And what was worse, battleships cannot re be rebuilt. So uh, the British actually lost a full-strength battleship there, uh, even though the land units retreated to Sicily. Um, yeah, so, so the lone Italian infantry that had to hold on there in round one actually managed to do so. It looked like overwhelming Allied force. Um, but yeah, in reality, of course, only the leader and the uh, infantry unit were attacking. Uh, in this case, uh, with a tank silhouette, but it's still a, um, an infantry unit. Because the fighter and naval units couldn't do anything, they did attack the Italian fighter and the Italian Navy on round two, 
uh, but they weren't too successful there. I believe they inflicted one hit on the Italian fighter, but that one was also subsequently rebuilt. Um, the US have now built up uh, all their units, um, and of course there are some at sea and everything, um, but apart from that, uh, all their units are built up. The next turn should give better weather, and uh, let's see if they can keep on squeezing things. They'll have to hurry up a little bit, or at least it looks like that, because um, the axes are really holding onto their perimeters. And, um, well, I do believe that by the end of the game, even though that's still seven turns away, uh, whoever holds Berlin wins, I believe. Um, but, um, yeah, the axis is still holding on remarkably well. I hope you enjoyed this video again.